What's going on, isn't it? Uh, hello, guys. Uh, we're here with a uh, very early alpha of Brewmaster. Um, it's a game about brewing beer, essentially. Um, I was sent a uh, an alpha key by uh, well, it's fitting in it. An alpha key by Alpha to uh, test out the game. Um, you know, put it on YouTube for the likes of you lot. So uh, we're going to give it a blast. Uh, I've already done a bit of it. Um, basically, you know, followed the recipe, done the bit, and um, yeah. So uh, we'll give it a go. Jump straight in. It might be a bit quiet. There's no option so far to turn it up. Uh, so it does look really quiet, but I'll try my best to do it. So, uh, yeah, this is Brewmaster at the current moment. Obviously, you know, everything remains subject to change and all of that. And, um, you know, very early access, well, very early alpha, not even early access yet. And um, I'm not being forced to say this because there is a big um, executive from alpha stood behind me. No, nope, these are all my own opinions. And, um, you know, he's actually not even that big. He's rather small. But, well, we'll, we'll get straight ahead. So this is our kitchen. Uh, you know, you load into this room, which kind of looks like a barn. Nice sky windows there. It's definitely a uh, a rich person's house, you know, and uh, they've got enough money to uh, do daft hobbies like this instead of buying cheap lager from Morrison's. So, let's straight stride. So you have like these different essential containers. Right? You got your fridge, you got your ingredients and your equipment cupboard. You got your sink. You got an induction hob or a kitchen hob. I think we just call it a hob in the UK. Um, calendar to skip time, and then basically your work table. Um, and then if we look in the top right there, you see we've got recipe guide. This is essentially how to make a auroch. I presume that's how you call it. Auroch is like um, an ancient camera, isn't it? What their uh, logo is based on. Digital. Get it? Pale ale. Right. So first thing we're going to need is a big uh, stainless steel pot. Did I get one? Nope. So we'll get one of them. We'll slap it down in here for now. Uh, what else do we need? We'll fill that and get a basic mash tun. Which is that. So, slap that on there. We're going to need to take this, take the lid off using V. Pick it up, put it in the sink. And then uh, turn the tap on. Now listen to that, listen to that running water. Great. When I first played this, I didn't have headphones on. So uh, I couldn't hear any sound at all. So I was thinking, oh no, I'm going to have to come and make all the sounds myself. Uh, they've not even added sounds yet, but they have. They've added sounds here, and you can hear us walking. And obviously, you can hear the taps running. So we need to fill this now with uh, 20,000 mil, so 20 litres of water. Uh, to make it a bit faster, we can speed up time by pressing T and then using the mouse scroll. Speed up time. Yep. And there we go. A bit more than 20,000 uh, mil or 20 litres, but that'll do. So put it on there now. I think we've got to boil it next. Uh, oh, there you go. From the equipment, basic mash tun, which is that. Then we're going to get some uh, uh, following grains, 4,000 pale ale, which will be, well, it's 500 grams of this one. Um, and is it this one we want? American pale? Yep, American pale, 4,000 tons. 4,000 grams, because I keep reading mash tun. Uh, do that to 4,000. Right, and then we're going to want to pour it in these. Yeah, 3,700 American Pale, which is this one. So we're going to pour into Ivar. Yeah, there we go. Let's stop pouring. And then we're going to pour 400 of this in. Yep, 400 grams. Pour into. Obviously, the measurements are always going to be quite off because we've not got uh, any form of um, uh, <coughs> sorry, ain't got any form of a uh, direct control. As you can scroll your mouse wheel to stop and start, but uh, unless you're very quick and accurate, you're going to end up overspilling a bit. 
So let's get this uh, pot now on the boil. Place it on there. I'm going to react with this. Now the only thing about this is, um, obviously when it's describing it like this way, it doesn't really give you a good gauge of how, like, you know, um, what, what temperature is kind of on. But if you read the instructions, it does say, you know, press G to enter X-ray mode. So now we can see that the current temp is uh, 11 degrees and going up. That's because it's on. So obviously when it's turned that way, it's on. When it's turned the other way, it's on. Just a basic uh, gas, gas, gas induction up. So in fact, it might be better if we do this. We can see it. Obviously, you can control temperature a bit more finely. Like you would at home if you do have a gas hob. Put that on there. Close the lid. So, uh, heat doesn't escape as much. And uh, now we just need to wait till that reaches 75 degrees. And then we'll bore in this. And make the beer. So, let's uh, speed up time while we wait. When I first played, I didn't realise, you know, it took, it took, you know, obviously water takes a long time to boil on the hob. Me being a numpty, didn't realise, you know, the game was trying to simulate that, so I was wondering, why, why is the hob not on? Why is it not bloody working? And it was, just very slowly, so you have to speed up time. So, uh, F1. So remove it from the hob and pour 10 litres into here. So we're going to pour into. I'm going to pour 10 litres. Ten liters. Place that back on there, and it should be 65 degrees, or there and thereabouts. Um, should reach around 75 degrees. If it's lower, add more hot water. So we can obviously slap a bit more in. Uh, you don't have to worry about it being too good or too close, because you're gonna add it all in anyway. So they go 65 degrees. Put that on there. Stick the lid on. Now we're going to have to wait for now, uh, it should take about an hour, so close the mash tun's lid and maintain temperature around 65 degrees for an hour. So the time is now 10.45, we start speeding up time a bit. Obviously the temperature is going to go down as the heat dissipates, but we shall pump it back up a bit. So I'll get some more water, it should just be boiling. Pour a bit in. Yeah, that'll do for now. So we're still waiting for uh, 11.45. There you go. Oh, no, so the temperature dropped quite a bit, but that should be fine. So now we're up to uh, boil the remaining water and then pour it all in the mash tun. So, this is what I was saying before, it doesn't matter much. If you uh, mess up the uh, measures, you can actually see the beer in there just about. We can pour all this in now, and then we'll split it into another container. Okay. You see the beer now? There we go. So we'll stick that back on there, close the lid. Uh, now we want to. Uh, oh, we still need this. Put this on the floor because we're going to drain it now into that, and it will leave all the sediment. Hopefully, uh, so we're going to go over here, get a tube. So there's loads of different equipments in here, but all that's uh, wanted for this uh, current recipe. I mean, there might be more recipes because obviously there's different ingredients. You've got different hops in here, different yeasts. So you could probably make something else uh, if you wanted to. Uh, obviously, you don't have to follow the uh, games guide. But uh, this is just showing you basically, you know, how to make a beer, and then uh, we'll go from there. So now we've attached that, we're going to open the tap and watch it pour into there. Uh... So this should basically leave behind. Uh... Is it some of the sediment at least behind it turns it into a wall basically. So this is what's going to eventually become our beer. That was it just as it was uh, digesting sort of thing. So uh, once this is filled with all that, we're going to stick it back on the hob and then uh, boil it, and then that will like uh, kick the uh, sugars into action. 
Yeah. So speed up time here a bit. There's always some left over, just because um, presumably it's below the marker line. So that's fine. I'm gonna stick this on here. We've still got 20,000 litres, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna attach the lid. We'll stick that back in there for now. Stick that back in there for now as well. We don't need it. For now, now we're gonna bring this to the boil currently at 70 degrees. So you know that'll boil, and then we're actually gonna put some uh, hops in it. So we want to go to the fridge freezer and collect 10, cascade it, and 30 grams of citra. Alright, so. I did it the wrong way around last time. 10. And 30. Alright, so what's that? Cascader. Place the cascader hops and continue boiling for 50 minutes. We'll wait for it to boil first. Yeah, heat until boiling. Wait till it boils. Obviously, um, I don't know yet whether they're going to change the uh, measures for you Americans. You obviously, you know, don't work in Celsius, or maybe you know, there's some of you who work in Kelvin's. Right, so that's the cascader in. It's uh, 47. Put that back on. I don't want that. Uh, just I'm gonna put the lid on. No. I must be able to put the lid on. Anyway, so we're going to do that for 50 minutes now. So that'll be uh, 37. A bit more than 37. Oh well. So now we're going to want to put our other hops in. Uh, place them. So this is right, isn't it? Pretty sure that's right. Yeah, because yeah, that's the Cascader. This will be the uh, Citra. Gonna do that for 10 minutes. So 53. Yep. And then we'll remove both of these. Oh, no, place. Remove that. Stop. And take it off the hob. Put that on there. Probably turn that off now. Store that in there. So we've that off the hob. Um, now we're going to want an immersion coil because we're going to want to cool it. So we'll get an immersion coil to cool. Get two tubes. We're going to stick this inside it. Press the buttons there. One. Place item. Connect to the intake. Connect to the tap. Connect it to the out and put it into the sink. There we go. So what this will basically do is the water from the sink will come through, it will go into the coil, it will cool it, therefore cooling the uh, temperature of the wart. Take it back down. And uh this will make it cool. So it's gonna wait till it drops down below 23. So we're gonna turn that on. Cool water we're now going through. And they're coming back out, and as you can see, the temperature is now dropping. So, we're going to want to get down to 23 here. It is working quite fast. And we're almost at the uh, fermenting stage, I believe. There you go, 23. Turn that off. Right. So now we've got the uh, for fermentation container, so we can remove that. Place in there, place one of them in there. Uh, fermentation container. Stick that on there. Uh, pour it in there. Just like this. Pour that in there. We'll make up to what, 20 litres or 20,000 mil. Obviously, as stuff was boiling, you know, evaporation happens. So now we've only currently got 19,000 in there. 
So obviously what we can do is stick it in there. fast it's gonna go. So I'll fill up with water. Could have used this, you know, filled it with whatever. All we want is basically twenty thousand. That'll do. Uh, detach that when we can aim at it. There we go. Store. So we've got twenty thousand in the container. Or twenty liters. Uh, and now we're gonna to want to put some ale in it. So we want Northeast Ale. Which will be in here. So this is a yeast, this basically attacks the sugars and eventually you know, turns it to alcohol. Uh, we want one of these, going to pour it into, pour it all straight in there. Yeah, go on. There we go. We can chuck that in the bin. Alright, and then that should be right, so then we can put the lid on. And now it's going to tell us to wait 15 days. So, you know, I mean, I don't know whether many of you have produced alcohol. You know, maybe some of you don't even like alcohol. Um, but essentially, this is like one of the longest stage. You've got this and then the uh, stage that comes after it. So, you know, you could do all this in a day and then you'd have to wait for the fermentation. I don't know whether you've ever watched any videos on uh, like alcohol making, but, you know, some of them obviously take more than 30 days. I think generally, like, you know, three month plus. Um... Is often a good gauge, you know, from start to finish alcohol. Um, but obviously, different beers take more. And then, obviously, you've got a uh, longer fermentation. So, you know, say you buy some whiskey and it says it's aged 25 years, that means it's just sat in like a barrel for 25 years. Or they've used beer that has sat in a barrel for 20 years and mixed it in with their final product. Now, we're going to wait 15 days now. Go pour that in there, go over to the calendar. And advance it until it says 15 days. And whilst it's doing that, oh no, accidentally clicked. So whilst it's doing that, may as well talk. So um, have any of you guys ever produced your own alcoholic beverage? Uh, it doesn't obviously have to be a beer, it could be wine or anything like. Uh, the only thing I've ever made is I did try making mead once, and uh, I made like kind of like two batches at the same time. It was basically like proper like bootleg uh, mead. You know, stick it in a plastic water bowl. And uh, wait like 12 weeks essentially. And uh, I think it was 12 weeks, it was 12 weeks and 9 weeks. But basically, it was after the time to undo it was after I got my house. So when I first moved in, I think about two weeks later, I could open it to drink it. And luckily, the first one I picked was the one that was alright. So I uh, obviously picked it open, drank it, and uh, it, was, it was meant to be mead. And uh, it could have been, you know, uh, the amount of yeast said it should have been about 4%, I think. Uh, but I didn't have any of the equipment to test it. So obviously drank it, and that was actually alright, it just tasted like a very weak, not weak, um, like a dry cider, so like, you know, no no fizz, no bubble, uh, it's just like a, a dry cider, and it was quite nice, and uh, I left the other one to kind of like, you know, carry on, because um, I was a bit of a dope, um, so obviously, you know, a few weeks later I come to drink the second bowl, bear in mind the first one was quite nice, quite enjoyed it, come to set the second bowl, and the second bowl was just pure vinegar, and, uh, you know, you could smell it straight away, but I thought, you know, may as well taste it as well. And the taste was horrible. You know, I felt like a uh, chip from the chip shop, the amount of vinegar. And it was just awful. And since then, I've not made any beer. You know, I tried, but you never know. You know, these things come around, don't you? You know, Christmas time now, could have done with a nice um, cinnamon mead or something. But, you know, who knows? Anyway, let's get back on with the game. So we've done the 15 days now. Now we're going to take a plastic barrel. So this is close to the end product now. Take a plastic barrel. We're going to put it on the floor. Uh, take the roof. Take the roof. Take the lid off. And we're going to get one of these. Put it on the tube. I'm pretty sure this is what we have to do now. Um, oh, we want some sugar. We get sugar from this one. Yep, sugar. So we're going to want to put. 200 grams of sugar in this. Uh, this will just eat whatever's remaining. And um, wait for the final process. We want 200 grams in the fermentation container. And then we're going to um, 
I can't remember what you call it, but basically it's like decant this into that. Uh, the way we're going to do it, I think he's I think he's meant to be quite bad because you're not meant to introduce air into the uh, containers. Whereas obviously if you're just letting it pour out like that, it's obviously going to put air in. Whereas normally they use like a like a one type thing, a pressurized. Where when when you push the tip down, the the uh, liquid comes out, or whatever you're usually doing, and that way oxygen is not introduced. Whereas this one's just like basically pouring it into it. So now we've done that, uh, we can um, basically do it now. So if we turn the tap on, there you go. There's our beer pouring out. What's well, soon to be the final product. So we got 20 liters to the can. It never really gets it all. I don't know how you know you get the final remaining piece into it because um, you can't tip the jugs up, obviously. Uh, whereas if you was using a wand, you'd be able to obviously do that. Um, but yeah, so this is going to slowly fill up. So what we'll do, we'll speed up time a bit. Yeah, I quite enjoy the game. Obviously, there's only one recipe on here for now. Uh, but obviously, you can try making your own beer because you know the measures. You know, there's no time limit to the uh, game or anything. So you can do whatever you want, essentially. I'm going to do this one, show you. And then, obviously, you know, if someone comes up with a recipe, maybe we'll try it. Uh, but if not, we'll uh, just leave it at the one video. Uh, hopefully, you know, if I'm smart, I'll probably put a picture of release time up here or like you know latest information but uh, I've got a feeling I won't right so that's as far as it's going to um, decant I'm not speaking for the developers here but I'm going to presume the reason it's not all filled out is because you see where the uh, tap is you know the space underneath it so it could be there uh, I don't know whether that's game design or whether it's just you know something that's happened uh, but basically you know it doesn't matter anyway. So we're going to uh, close the tap, attach that, chuck it in there, not chuck it in there, chuck it in there, chuck that in there, put our lid on, pick up this, put it there. So this is what the final uh, final beer is going to be. So it's got, it'll have some of the yeast still in there um, to finish it off. We should be all right. So uh, stuff like the gravity there, we see on the left hand side. That's how much is gravity? How much alcoholic percentage it is? Um, obviously everything else is pretty understandable. Temperature and that uh, color, you know, darker beer, lighter beer, bitter uh, lager sort of thing. Um, carbonation, how bubbly it is. So you know, more bubbles. Uh, like a, like a lager more bubbly or like a, a flat like a bitter sort of thing um, but yeah so now we want to do is uh, put the lid on and wait 15 days so this is the conditioning stage where the beer improves and the yeast creates further CO2 to carbonate the beer remember to use the calendar and then we'll taste it um, not physically taste it otherwise I've got some water here I can pretend I'm tasting it uh, but other than that good yeah, let's wait 15 days. And there we go. So yeah, so uh, let me know if any of you have ever tried producing alcohol. Like I say, tried tried mead. It was crap. Um, I can't remember the yeast I tried. It was like the uh, the wine yeast was like Lagoon, Lagoon. Anyway, it was crap. Um, you know, but it was minimal cost. I think it cost me like five pound total um, to try and do. All I had to do was stick it in a cupboard for like nine, twelve weeks. So, uh, you know, be tempted to get into it, you know, give it a whirl. I'm sure buying the the other equipment, like uh, the glass jars and that, isn't expensive either. And there's plenty of um, plenty of uh, like uh, craft craft beer supplies in my area. So, you know, maybe we'll give it another try one day. Um, I think I originally tried it because I watched a TikTok person from the UK try it. So I thought, oh, fuck it, I'll try this, you know. And obviously it didn't work out too well for me. But uh, never mind, you know, maybe we'll be more successful in a, a digital way. So uh, we'll try it with uh, our uh, Brewmaster game. Well, we're almost time now. We'll go taste the beer. And uh, by taste, it literally is just like a, a screen which tells you the breakdown 
how successful it is. So, there we go. Now, uh, taste test time. So you take your, uh, you take your barrel of beer, pick it up, carry it swill. We can when you pick it up, listen. So to the swillage. So we're obviously they've done quite well with the sounds. Put our beer on there. Uh, to taste it, you have to bring it up to here. You see a little glass, you like, obviously hook you up or whatever you do. And then it tastes it. Um, but traditionally, you know, did store them on racks to uh, age a bit longer. As in plastic, so you're never going to get any taste from the plastic. So we're going to go over here. And we're going to taste a beer. And it'll bring up a little screen. So to uh, simulate the tasting, I will now drink some water. And you can listen to it. <sighs> Refreshing. So, this actually looks a lot better than uh, I did last time. Probably isn't. So uh, colour-wise, it's quite a pale ale. Obviously, you know, using all the pale ale yeasts and um, hops, grains, whatever it was we used. I think it was like grains. Obviously, produce a pale beer. Carbonation-wise, quite flat. Um, I don't know about you, but the older I get, so I'm like late 20s now, I much prefer flat beer. Can't be doing with all the burping. Um, it's just horrible. Uh, batch size, 19.5 litres. I don't know what... You know, the reasoning behind that is obviously, you know, I know, you know, beer in different quantities. I don't know whether eventually they'll introduce something like selling beer. You know, you start with small crap equipment, sell beer, bigger equipment. I don't know. Um, I think it's more like just a like, craft game. It's so like a hobbyist sort of game uh, as opposed to like a simulator, like a tycoon thing. Uh, clarity is slightly hazy. That's how clear it is. So it's slightly hazy. You can kind of see there. Hopefully this is actually imitating my beer. As opposed to like um, doing something else. So taste test. It is uh, generally more malty and sweet rather than hoppy and bitter. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a full hoppy hoppy beer. Um, obviously they come all the range now, like IPAs and hops and you know mead and all that stuff. Um, obviously some beers nice, some beers disgusting. Um, but yeah, so you know you got your different taste things. There's a smoky. I mean maybe you could try and make it more like a like a whiskey kind of flavoured fruit and spice. No, I don't know what you can make towards the cider or anything. Molly and sweet, dark and roasted, sour and tart, all the different things. And it's got the uh, notes of here. Yeah. So this is all the stuff we would have put in it, like the uh, different um, hops and stuff. You know, 2.1% taste of biscuit. Very nice. I'll call it beverage, 5.26. So that's quite strong. Um, not quite strong, but you know, like relatively, most of your average beers now, especially in the UK, they're all about four percent, maybe four and a half. Oh, I see. Uh, there's somebody at the door. One moment. Ah, there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Hey, it's my G. Right, we're back. Let's get these. Uh... The phone's on. Dog's barking there and everything. Going crazy. Very good boy. Right, so uh, yeah, alcoholic beverage. Or oh, alcoholic volume. 5.26%. Uh, it's quite relatively high compared to commercial beers now. Like I say, um, that Stella and that. I think Stella went down from 5 to 4.5, is it? You know, used to be called wife beer. But I mean, you compare that to like Tenant Super, like 8-9%, and it sounds soft anyway. Um, bitterness, low, no. Lager, not bitter, or oh, IPA. And this, uh, we've got body, medium, well, weight of it. You know how it sits in your stomach after you've had 20 of them. Original gravity. Hello. So, dog's just uh, trying to get in here. You see his beer, he's licking his lips. It's an imaginary dog. Don't worry about it. So we've got original gravity there, one. I see how call it uh, volume, I'm pretty sure. And we've got final gravity of 1.014. So, I mean, pretty good. You know, the, uh, if you want a higher alcoholic volume, you need more sugars in it. And then obviously, you know, if you apply more yeast, the yeast can eat more sugar. That produces carbonation, which produces more alcoholic volume. Or, pretty sure, I mean, I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, so 
the category. So this is what it's most like. So you know we're sixty five percent like strong bitter. Uh, we are fifty percent like a New England IPA. You know fifty percent like the others as well. Color. So that's the scale, carbonation, the amount of light. Is it the amount of air or bubbles? Basically, oh no, the amount of carbon. Uh, obviously carbonation. The amount of carbon in it, which obviously releases bubbles. Alcoholic uh, volume five point two six. Not bad, bit in us thirty. You know, so I think we did quite well there. Uh, basically, running off the instructions. You know, it might be a few percentages off because uh, that's how it worked. If we press continue now, it will take us out and say, "Do we want to continue?" I mean, if we press Q, it'll go back. So you got all these different ones. But yeah, so that's Brewmaster uh, in its current stage. Obviously, very early alpha. Um, basically, just a screenshot of where it is at this time. So uh, if you have liked this, you know, the video, or uh, if you like the context of the video, you know, alcoholic beverage, then uh, give them a shout. I'm sure they're on Twitter, Steam, probably on Discord. You know, they're everywhere nowadays, people. Um, but yeah, so I've been Carl. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, do let me know, you know, if you've produced alcohol at any point. Uh, I would like to see it. Uh, not obviously see it, but, you know, I would like to hear it. Uh, so do let us know, and uh, if not, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Maybe four months from now when we decide to make another one. Who knows, you know, there's no time limit here, no schedule. We just uh, come and go as I please. So, uh, yeah, good to see you, and uh, goodbye.